Aquaman is one of my favorite movies in the DCEU. I just love this movie. I The movie is just so visually stunning and just so beautiful to watch. Like, just seeing the world of Atlantis and it, it, it's just so beautiful. Like, I just love this and I love everything that they did with this character. So, of course, I'm super excited for Aquaman 2, which is going to be releasing in 2022 or 2023, somewhere around there. But one of the big problems when it comes to this movie is, of course, Amber Heard as Mira because of all her real life drama and stuff going on between her and Johnny Depp and all the court cases and all that stuff that's going on there. So a lot of people hate Amber Heard at the moment. Like people just don't like her like at all. I mean, I think she's a great actress and everything and I loved her as Mira. But the things she did are just make me not want to see her, you know? So we're all wondering, like, what are they going to do with this character? Are they going to recast the character? Are they going to write out the character? Which would be kind of weird because she did just, you did just have that romantic story of her getting together with Arthur in the first movie. And, you know, now they're a couple and they're like, going to be the king and queen and everything. So how are they going to explain this and like, you know, make this character smaller or get out Amber Heard basically? Well, from what we've been he hearing, Amber Heard's Mira will be in the movie, w whether it is actually Amber Heard in the role or not, but it will be a smaller role so then that way if they need to, they can cut the character out and still have good characters in here, good female characters, because... Mira was a great, powerful female superhero. And now we have our report from Daniel RPK on some female characters we're going to be seeing appearing in this in this movie of Aquaman 2 to kind of replace Mira and fill that gap that will be left behind. So we're going to go ahead and break down each of these characters, starting off with the first one, which is Tula, a.k.a. Aqua Girl. So this character is an Atlantean military officer, so she's very skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat, combat, good with weapons and stuff, very fierce warrior, and also she rides a seahorse, so that's pretty cool. Um, although in Aquaman, they kind of retconned that, so instead of seahorses, it was actually like sea dragons, which I guess is cool, but you know, it would just be awesome to see someone ride an actual seahorse here. But what's interesting about this character is that she is actually the half-sister of Ocean Master. Now, you may be thinking, but Ocean Master and Aquaman are brothers. So, if these two are, are half-sister and brother, then wouldn't Aquaman have a relation there as well? Well, no, because Tula, she, her father is the same father as Ocean Master's father. Whereas that is not Arthur's father. So that's kind of the connection there. We do know for sure that Patrick Wilson is returning as Ocean Master for this film as well. So it makes sense that we would have a connection there with this character. So that would be a really cool character that we're going to be seeing here in this movie. Another really interesting character, actually from this list, one of the most interesting ones, and this is Dolphin. So, first of all, she is a deaf character. At least I'm not completely sure if she's, like, fully deaf, but she can't, like, uh, communicate auditorily, if that's a word, with, like, her voice and stuff. And she is actually a mutation. So, that's what they call it in Atlantis. Uh, basically a sea-changed individual. So this is very similar to what we learned about, like, the Trench and the Brine and the Fisherman Kingdom in the first movie because obviously we know that all of these Atlanteans back before they were divided into these seven different kingdoms, they were all one united nation above ground and they were all regular humans. But then once they sank underground, some of them obviously stayed fairly human just you know could breathe and talk underwater now but others as we saw transformed and mutated like how people literally transformed into like piranha people as the trench people transformed into like crab people as the brine and dolphin 
is she's still mostly human and she can like kind of shapeshift but like she's got like fish hands and stuff so it's actually pretty cool i'd be really interested to see how that would look in live action so i think that'd be really cool to see then the final character that according to daniel rpk we are going to be seeing in aquaman 2 is siren who is actually the twin sister of mira so uh this is a way that you could bring in a character that is basically Mira, but then just get get rid of Mira because you know she has Siren has the same exact powers as Mira, except Siren is actually a villain. So she is actually the leader of a death squad in Zebel, which of course, as we know from the movie, is the home kingdom of Mira, and her squad is basically tasked with assassinating Aquaman. So. Uh, we also know that Black Manta is going to be the main villain of the movie, so it is possible that maybe uh, Siren may be possibly part of Black Manta's crew, because we've also heard that Black Manta is going to have a crew of villains, which I think is going to consist of some of his, his pirates from the first movie, but also maybe Siren and her death squad. So that's definitely a huge possibility here, or maybe they could even retcon her and make her a hero to literally just straight up replace Mira with her twin, which would honestly be kind of funny, but also like wouldn't make that much sense in the long run. But this is a character that has been hugely rumored for this movie, so this one is like a definite we're going to be seeing Siren in this movie, and I'm excited to see how she plays into the movie. So anyways, guys, these are some big female characters that are supposedly going to be introduced in Aquaman 2 to fill that gap and fill that void of Amber Heard's Mira. So let me know down in the comments below what did you think about this news, which of these characters are you most looking forward to, and what else do you want to see in Aquaman 2? So thanks so much for watching, please drop a like if you enjoyed this video, and hit the subscribe button so I can keep you up to date on everything that goes on in the DC life.